Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Breed Review. I'm Liam Murphy, and today I'll be reviewing the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Uh, uh, Had a little bit of a meltdown, my camera died. I don't know why I charge the thing all the time. I know I'm supposed to have two of them. I know, I don't. Okay, so the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, very hard to spell, by the way. That's very tough for me. I don't know if I'm dyslexic. Back when I was in school, I don't know about you guys, but back when I was in school, if you didn't pass the necessary test, they just stuck you in the class with all the bad kids who like to put things in their mouth. Okay, so the Chesapeake Bay Retriever looks similar to a lab. A lot of people think that they're a lab. They're not completely different. These guys originated in the United States, Maryland. Not really familiar with too much in Maryland. I know they like crabs. I believe they're known for crabs. Um, the type that, you know, the, the crabs that you uh, that live in the ocean. Okay, all right. All right. Now the story goes that how this breed originated was it was a boat that was sinking and a guy went over and another guy from another boat went over and helped get the crew off and on that boat with the crew were codfish and two puppies and they were, they were what's called the St. John's dog. St. John's dog left Newfoundland, basically the start of the Newfoundland in the lab, blah 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 blah. They came from Canada. Probably stowaways, you know how Canadians are, always trying to sneak on our ships and sneak into this country. So those two puppies were the start of, they were the original dogs to create this dog here. As you can see, they have a wavy coat, which comes in a variety of brown colors. Any color of brown, it's a little bit of white. You can see right here, a little bit of white. I'm like a weatherman. Look at me moving, right? Right on. Look at that. I could do that. Look at, we got clouds coming in here to this region. It's going to rain over here. It's described as a medium to large size dog. However, males can range anywhere from 75 to 100 pounds. So to me, that's considered a large dog. Originally, these guys were used as water retrievers to retrieve waterfowl, as they call it, like ducks, basically mostly ducks. Nowadays, these guys are still very popular amongst hunters, but mainly these guys are used as family companions. All right, guys, so let's kick the review off with health. Now, not the healthiest of breeds, unfortunately. These guys do have a lot of health issues. Mainly, the main health issues for these guys, which are common in this breed, are hip dysplasia eye problems, and blood clot diseases. Not that they have a whole long list of health issues, but the ones that they do have, those three I mentioned are the main ones, are very common in the breed. They have a life expectancy of about nine to 10 years. So very important, if you're thinking about getting a Chesapeake Bay Retriever, you really do, and I know I say it all the time, but you really wanna research the breeder. And you wanna make sure that they're knowledgeable about that, and they're knowledgeable about the breed, and they're not just breeding it because they have two dogs, and they maybe, you know, Okay, you just want to make sure that the breed is breeding for health and doing it for the right reasons. So for overall health, one out of five, one star being really unhealthy, five being the healthiest of breeds, I'll give them a three. All right, moving on to temperament. Very, very great temperament on these guys. That's why they make really good family companions. They're very good with children, they're very good with people, and very good with other dogs. So there's not a dog that you really have to worry about with any type of aggression issues. You can't really expect them to protect your house and stop somebody from breaking in and stealing your favorite pajamas. They're just not great guide dogs, but that's a good thing for some people. They don't want a guide dog. They don't want a dog to be barking every time the wind blows. Just a really, really good, sweet dog. So if you're thinking about getting one of these guys, temperament-wise, you don't have anything to worry about. Five out of five for temperament. All right, moving on to activity. Now, here's where it can be a little bit dicey for some people. This is a dog that requires a lot of activity. They love to swim. You really wanna make sure you give these guys an opportunity to swim. They love it, and they can swim year round, even in the winter time. So if you wanna be careful in the super, super cold months, these guys absolutely love to swim. If you're not an active person, you're really not gonna to wanna to get one of these dogs. They need a lot of exercise, and if they don't get it, they can become very, very frustrating. So if you're not interested in sitting on your couch, punching yourself in the face all day because the dog's just annoying the heck out of you because you're not getting enough exercise, well, well then, don't get this breed, okay? They're very, very active. They need a lot of activity. I would say at least three hours of exercise. And I would definitely try to incorporate as much of that exercise in swimming, in retrieving. As long as you have places you can bring it to get at the exercise, then you'll be fine. Overall activity for these guys, I'm gonna give them a five. All right, so let's move on to trainability. Okay, trainability, these guys, very smart breed. I find them to be a little bit harder to train. Not that they can't be trained, but I find them to be a little, just slightly dip more difficult than some breeds. Just because they, they just have such a thirst for work. You have to train them while they're doing something. And for me, retrieving is always the best way. If my camera keeps blinking low battery after I just just charge it for an hour, I swear to God. It's going out the window. It's Say goodbye to the camera, you guys. I've had it, I've had it. This is ridiculous. How does this thing, why is it low, ba I don't, okay. All right, you know what, we're gonna let it go. I'm not gonna let it bother me. I don't even, I'm gonna ignore the flashing light. This thing dies on me, I swear to God, I'm putting it out the window. So training for these guys, I would incorporate retrieving. Number one, it's really honing in on their instincts. Number two, it's keeping them busy, getting them some exercise, and they're learning something. Coming back, dropping it, not running away, sitting, staying, all that stuff you can incorporate in retrieval training. So I would definitely get them into a trainer right away, especially one that does work with 
sporting dog to kind of really work with their instincts of what they were bred to do. Trainability for these guys, I'm going to give them a four. All right, guys, so that's it. That's the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. My camera is going to try to die. I'm going to try to fly through this so it doesn't. Uh, let's go over some pros real quick with these guys. Number one, great temperament on these guys. Very, very friendly dogs. Two, they don't need it. They don't require a ton of grooming. Yeah, they shed a little bit here and there, but not a, not a lot, you know, not too much. So low grooming requirements, so that's really good. And also, if you're an active person and you live near a water source and you like to be around the water and you like to take your dog swimming, things like that, then this is a great fit for you. Some cons could be some health issues with the breed. Again, I don't think you'll have any trouble with it if you go to a right, if you go to the right breeder and you do your research. And again, like I always say, some of the cons could be for some people, it's just the activity. It's just a little bit too much for them to handle. Don't want to sit around getting aggravated by the dog and punch themselves in the face. So uh, that can be an issue for some people, certainly. Other than that, really great breed. Love this dog a lot. Not as popular as a Labrador Retriever, but makes just as good a family companion. All right, guys. That's it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Also, click on the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. It could be the next dog for you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you do like it and share it with your friends. I'd greatly appreciate it. Again, I can't say it enough. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you guys all so much for all the support. I hope you guys had a great day with your dogs, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you. Come on, Sadie, baby. Uh -huh.